guys uh, welcome back this is my boy Gerd and Slink how you guys doing welcome to another crazy video uh good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching this video from so we're gonna just give you a recap of the things that uh, we're gonna be discussing we're gonna look at uh, times uh Bonner boy who just recently dropped uh his album love damini and uh also featuring a song in it featuring uh, ed sharon and also david and chris brown dropped another single as well then we're gonna check out some uh, nigeria daily news as well so stay tuned guys but firstly check out this video you know this is what we always advise people for see don't lose god don't allow your life to be used like a rat you know a rat or like uh, a sheep a sheep that they will rear and at the end of the day they will use that sheep for meat don't allow your life to be defined like that that is why if you if you go to some club nowadays that is this is the reason why some people like to drink from the bottle they like to drink from the bottle they don't like to pour drinks inside the glass cup again a lady stylishly put something inside this guy's cup stylishly well we do not know the after meat if it was a poison if it was uh, uh over drug overdose or whatsoever we do not know the after meat of that story but the fact is that that lady put something inside that guy's cup don't lose god and i see some of you guys whenever you see someone drinking from the bottle in the club you'll be like ah which guy look up be this it's not about him being local it's about him just safeguarding his life. He's trying as much as possible to safeguard his life. At least, whenever you want to put something inside a bottle, at least someone can, you cannot easily target. It's not as if you cannot do, but it's very, very has a slim chance than putting something in this kind of cup. You know, it's wide. So someone can easily put without you even noticing. But in a bottle that has a little small hole, so it would be extremely, really hard to do that. And even if you succeed, you know, it will take you like you will have second thought before doing it because you might think you might not succeed. So the bottom line is that don't allow your life to be defined as a sheep life because uh, sheep are rare for meat. So you are a human being. So you have to be careful and don't lose God. Well, guys, uh, let's move forward. And this headline is coming from uh, Niger. You know what happened in Kuje prison? Kuje jailbreak. Well, according to the Kuje prison workers, they said BK Boy stole 82 million naira, 36,000 US dollar cash belonging to inmates. So, according to a report, money had been kept with at least five prison officials including those who mining the commissary for several months. Officials said, one guard, one prison guard told 13 inmates this afternoon that all the money they kept with him has been stolen. He bluntly told them that the 26 million is no longer in his possession. The prison about 43 kilometers southwest of that town Abuja was breached at about 10 p.m. 10 p.m. by suspected BK insurgent while some detainees refused to take advantage of the jailbreak or prisoner affiliated with BK boys escaped according to defense minister. President Obari visited the facility for a few minutes on his way to the airport on a foreign trip to Senegal Wednesday afternoon he spent the damage while ensuring correctional manager of support. Well, guys, so total of 82 million naira and 36,000 US dollar cash. Well, let me read some few comments coming from Nigeria concerning that money because I'm definitely sure that they are not going to just uh, believe that that money we actually stolen. Uh, stolen. Someone said, This country, they booze me every day. It says, Could you prison microfinance bank? Yes, firstly, let us ask that question. How can the uh, Kuje prison be having money stored? Do they have a, 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 a vault? They store money 
82 million naira is not uh you know it's not like thousands thousands of years dollar that you can just put in a put in a brief a, in a briefcase 82 million naira consumes space so how who authorized them to keep money that huge amount of money there who so someone says so 82 million naira a day for inside prison Say, thank God you now accept saying a human being carry this one, no be animal. Well, guys, uh, I think they should ask them properly because they will use that. Uh, we should not say lie against big, big quay boys for carrying that money. I think uh, BK guys should immediately respond and I think they should immediately respond and give their own official statement concerning that 82 million because I don't understand how you guys are going to keep 82 million naira in a prison. Come on, I don't understand. It's really, really awkward to me, but I think it's possible in Nigeria. Very, very possible. It has already happened. So let's go to the main issue here entertainment and Thames. Well, Thames decided to share pictures of where she started from. She wrote this, she said, Trenches is a real place where I made for broken ears. Well, it's not easy. I like you, like some of you guys who do not know, turns out to quit her job and uh, use her savings to buy musical equipment. And those are the musical equipment. And it started, and she started recording. She started recording. See, let me give you, let me just tell you the truth. Mm. If you know in your heart, look yourself in the mirror, tell yourself the truth. Oh. If you are good musically, if you are good musically, tell yourself the truth, then go for it. Do whatever it takes for you to go there. I have a friend, I've, I've narrated a similar story before. I have a friend. This guy, since why I know this guy for the past 10 years, this guy has been talking about music. I want to record, I want to release, I want to record. Man, that's a big music. I will record one day. 10 years has gone. My God, nobody writes one thing for book. <laughs> 10 years has gone. My God, nobody writes something for book. Until today, he still hopes. Or becoming or becoming a musician we are older we are more than 30 it's 32 we are the, the, the same age and they still hope on becoming a musician how is that even possible and you have not record one beat you have not wrote anything on paper you have not bought any musical equipment you have not even bought anything a barrel and a paper dedicated to music alone you have not bought and yet you want to become a musician. I don't understand how that happened. I don't understand. I don't get it. See, times a lady, a woman, quit her job because she know in her heart that yes, I'm a musician, I can sing and I can develop myself. Unlike some people, they don't want to tell themselves the truth. They will rap and rap and rap and rap and rap and they don't even know how to rap. They don't know how to sing. They will keep singing, singing, singing. My bro, why well, don't sit down, man? Tell yourself the truth. Hmm? Then the uh, big congrats to Bonner Boy who just dropped his album, Love, Damini. Well, I've not actually listened to that album yet. I'm going to take time to listen to it. About 16 tracks. Well, I'm going to take time to listen to it because I have to support. And then I have my own uh, say, my own critics or whatever i need to say about the album or definitely i will say it then uh, one of the single from that album is uh, the one it featured ed sharon man i'm listening to it and i can't tell you they nailed that song and is he, i think he, that song would be the next loving you know love a song in Nigeria. so let's see how it, it goes because it was just released a few hours ago. So let's see, the next few days, let's see if TikTok community will accept that song and let's see if lovers will also accept that song as well. You know, because nowadays, if your song goes on TikTok, blow on TikTok, automatically you are very, very sure that song 
will hand you a platinum or, or gold. Definitely, guys. Right, let's talk about uh, David O and uh, Chris Brown. You know, I like the way Chris Brown is so, you know, very, very supportive when it comes to Afrobeat. It, it was one of all those artists who generally accepted the Afrobeat without, uh, you know, without any, any, any benefit. Because I'm not sure if they were paying their, if a whiskey paid Chris Brown then while he was featuring Chris Brown. You know, I'm not sure. And also, David don't ever really pay their Chris Brown. They were sharing their royalty. They never really paid Chris Brown. They were just sharing royalty from that song. And now they did another song again together. They said, the song is, they do not have to know. And honestly, that song is actually really, really nice. So let's see how the song will go, how the song will perform. And, uh, you know, Chris Brown also dropped his album recently. And this, this single is part of the deluxe, not the original album. You know, the original album, it featured uh, Whiskey. Now this one is the deluxe and the featuring uh, David O. I really like the way he's carrying everybody along. You know, we have not seen Chris Brown and Bonner Boy yet <laughs> featuring each other. You know, uh, I do not think with Chris Brown ever reached out to Bonner Boy. I don't think so if Chris Brown reached out to Bonner Boy because it's even Whiskey that first reached out to Chris Brown and David O first reached out to Whiskey as well. So for Bonner Boy reaching out to Chris Brown, I don't think so. Because Bonner Boy feel like, you know, he's living his life La Vida Loca now and uh, a lot of other artists are searching for him, even, even uh, upset. Yeah, upset how to message Bonoboy on comment section and say, Chama, check your DM. That is how likable Bonoboy is. So guys, thank you very much for watching the boy again. I'm Slink. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed.